Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And perhaps what I'd like to do before I start my very short presentation is introduce uh, Merck, uh, otherwise known as uh, MSD. We are one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. We employ 85,000 people, including 25,000 here in Europe. Uh, we have revenues of $48 billion, and we spent uh, $8 billion in uh, uh, R&D. There are many aspects uh, of CSR, and I liked what uh, was said before about the fact that CSR is now part of everything we do and the way we work. I like very much what we said. That's how we live that at, uh, at Merck as well. And, uh, and I'd like to cover perhaps two, uh, two aspects uh, uh, today, which are linked to the nature of our business uh, in, uh, in healthcare. One is about access to medicine, and the other one is about uh, health literacy. I'm not sure it's working, actually. Oh, here it is. If I start with, with uh, access, uh, access to, um, to uh, medicine, uh, clearly, what our key objective in this area is to improve access to innovation, because at the end of the day, what we do in a pharmaceutical company like ours is uh, produce innovative drugs, and we want to improve the access to innovative drugs uh, uh, and vaccines uh, around the world. This is what we do as a pharmaceutical company. This is what you know about pharmaceutical companies. What is perhaps less known is what we do in emerging markets and the programs that we have developed to provide uh, uh, drugs at an affordable price in, in those markets. And we do that working with governments, working with NGOs, working with patient association through access price uh, policies and uh, a strategy of low cost uh, manufacturing. Another aspect for the very, the poorest part of, uh, of the population, whether in emerging markets or indeed in developed markets, are our donation programs. And we uh, uh, spend a lot of money in philanthropy. Last year, for example, we spent $1.2 billion. The biggest part of it is our donation programs. And I'd like to perhaps spend a minute on the most uh, uh, important of them, which is the uh, Mectizen don donation program. Mectizen is a drug that was discovered about 30 years ago uh, uh, by some of our researchers and it's used in the treatment of river blindness. Uh, river blindness is a very highly delimitating disease which affects uh, sub-Saharan Africa, but also Asia and uh, Latin America. And 25 years ago, our CEO at the time uh, pledged that we would give that drugs for as long as necessary to as many people as possible in order to eradicate this disease. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the 25th anniversary of this initiative in London, and I can tell you that so far we have treated one billion people uh, uh, for this, uh, this uh, terrible disease and that the disease has been eradicated in uh, two countries, including, including uh, Colombia. Another aspect uh, of um, uh, CSR, again for a healthcare company, is health literacy. And that's what I want to talk to you about uh, today. There are many examples of what we do, that we do as a company or in collaboration uh, with uh, NGOs or patient association. This is linked to the nature, uh, the nature of our, our business, and I'd like to perhaps cite also some initiatives in the area of diabetes or, or HIV, uh, HIV uh, AIDS. But what is health literacy? Health literacy is really the ability for an individual to take a decision about their health. This is what we're, talking, what we're talking about here, and it's a very important, uh, very important uh, uh, aspect. Why does it matter? It matters because it is clearly proven that people who are literate uh, in this area live longer and live healthier lives. It is also very important uh, because it costs a lot of money to our healthcare system. There are a couple of studies that are mentioned here in the US or in Switzerland. My view is that it costs much more than the th three to five percent uh, of the healthcare uh, cost that is mentioned uh, on this slide. Health is also important to economy or to our, and to our competitivity. Uh, if you look on these slides, you see that demography is going in the wrong direction in Europe. It is predicted that there will be 33 million less workers in Europe uh, over the next three to four decades. We know that uh, non-communicable diseases are uh, on the rise and diabetes is exploding uh, in, our, in our society. We know that healthcare costs are uh, uh, increasing dramatically and we are lagging 
One minute only? Wow. And we are lagging uh, behind the U.S. when it comes to, uh, to productivity. So, two years ago, uh, in the context uh, of Enterprise 2020, uh, a few companies gathered uh, with CSR in order to uh, develop a, a collaborative project in the area of, uh, of health literacy. And the idea there was to make health literacy part of health and in the workplace. And it's going beyond just having, uh, uh, having a canteen with the right uh, kind of food served or a, a gym in the, in the workplace. It's really putting health and health education uh, as one of the elements of, of the strategy of the company. It is good for the individuals, it is good for the companies, and it is good for society, for society at large. And this uh, uh, group has come with a blueprint uh, which is a methodology uh, and a toolbox and also some case studies that are available to all companies and that have, that have been made available on a website which I encourage all of you to consult in order to uh, look at this initiative. Thank you.